A question that my students often ask me is whether or not to have their calculator in radian or degree mode. So I wanted to make a short little video to explain the difference between the two and when to use them and when not to and kind of show you a little trick. So here's the mode screen and you'll see that the third choice down is radian and the other choice that's not highlighted right now is in degree. So my calculator is in radian mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this screen here and I'm going to hit the sign of 30. And what I tell my students is that if in a problem you do not see a degree symbol, and you notice this 30 on the left has no degree symbol on it, then I tell them to assume that it's radiance. Unless the problem in, in the word problem says degrees someplace else, if there's no degree symbol, then assume it's radiance. So this is the sign of 30 radians right now because my mode is set in radiance. If I hit enter, there is my result. Now let's switch this to degree mode and let's see the difference in the values here so let's go back to the home screen hit sign 30 degrees hit enter and it's 0.5 so you can see the results are different and like I said I want to just highlight this again that if you see a degree symbol in the problem then you know to have your calculator in degree mode and that right here this was 30 degrees because my calculator was in degree mode even though you don't see the degree here the mode tells the calculator that when I use my trig functions, that this 30 is in degrees. So if now the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to switch this back to radian because I want to show you a trick. If you do not like to be switch, or if you don't like to switch your calculator back and forth between radian and degree, there is a way to work around it. So let me just hit sign 30 again so you can see that we're in radian mode. So this is radians. 30 radians, hit enter, and there we have our value again. Now, I'm not going to switch the mode here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit sign 30, and before I close the parentheses, I'm going to hit second apps, which brings up the angle menu. Now, the first choice in the angle menu is the degree symbol. As soon as I enter this into my problem, now I'm telling the calculator that this is 30 degrees. Even though I'm in radian mode, if I attach the degree symbol onto the 30, this is going to read out as sine of 30 degrees. And when I hit enter, it should come up as 0.5. So if you're nervous about switching back and forth between radian and degree and forgetting about which mode you're in and making a mistake on your problem, just always leave your calculator in radian mode. And then when you come across a problem that deals with degrees, just make sure to enter the degree symbol into your calculator and then you'll know you're right.